I have a condition called atopic dermatitis, otherwise known as eczema. Some people think it's just dry skin, but it's a lot more complicated than that. It can cause um, inflammation of the skin, scaling, blistering, peeling. It's a whole myriad of uh, <laughs> things to contend with. At the moment, I have it um, on my face. I have it on my neck a little bit and on my chest. Um, I have it on my hands my arms. Um, I also have it a little bit on my abdomen and quite widespread on my legs um, down to my ankles. The skin condition I have is eczema and I've had it ever since I was born. It's definitely not just a rash, it goes a lot deeper than that. Um, this is a lifelong condition that I've had. I've obviously tried all different types of treatment and nothing seems to work. It's not as easy as just applying cream and just hoping for the best. So I have um, severe plaque psoriasis. I get sort of like circles, sometimes squares, form up on my skin, which is quite dry, red and scaly. Um, sometimes it can be quite big. Sometimes it can be quite small. I've had eczema since I was 18. It can really affect you in any sense. I mean, sex life, work life. It's upsetting because it does get in the way of things. You cannot just get up in the morning, you know, and get your clothes on. You have to get up in the morning and sweep your skin away from your bed and, you know, brush your skin off and put moisturiser on. It's a very long and lengthy process that kind of makes you feel less human, I guess. When it comes to eczema, the number one um, treatment is to use steroid creams. I started on them when I was six months old, all the way up until the age of 28. Um, the problem with this is that with the medication, it's only meant to be used short term, but yet somehow I was on them for nearly 30 years. There needs to be change in how skin conditions are managed by the medical teams. Um, I've been without the medication for a year and a half, but I was told I would be on them for life, and that's just not true. There are other ways of managing skin conditions, whether that be through um, other alternative methods. You have UV treatment, you have diet, and also like holistic ways, and I think that that needs to be explored by doctors. I feel like my skin's a lot better now without the steroids than it was when I was on them. I think the byproducts of eczema are probably as damaging as the um, condition itself. You could be left with a lot of um, hyperpigmentation and scarring and discoloration. And I think that that's something that's quite rife in, you know, women of colour. So I think by normalising it and sort of, you know, speaking out about it, it's just something that could be accepted and make women of colour who have pigmentation issues feel more comfortable. The hardest thing about having psoriasis, personally, I think is simple things like looking at myself in the mirror, um, just getting up and showering because you feel emotionally deflated and waking up and starting your day, I think is the hardest hardest bit. Sometimes I just want to hide away and not everyone understands why. Some days, especially being a, a woman, you're told to like look a certain way, be very presentable, um, be 100% all the time. And when you have eczema, it's not possible. So you feel like you're not pretty enough. You're not, you're not fitting into the standard of beauty, which is like literally perfect skin. I don't have perfect skin and I used to cover it up a lot and I can cover it up to an extent, but if you have a really bad day and you've done your most trying to like exfoliate, put your makeup on and you're still looking a bit rough, it's really, um, well, let's just say it's a bit depressing, constantly trying to strive for perfection that you're never going to achieve. And um, yeah, there were times when I didn't want to leave the house or feel like it's just so much of an effort to be normal that I'd rather just not go out, basically. Eczema can really, really impact your mental health. Um, I developed it when I was 18, and I mean, when you're 18 years old, you're going through a lot anyway. I've always suffered with anxiety and a lot of self-deprecating, so when I developed my eczema, when I developed a skin condition, 
it just made things a lot worse for me. But I think what a lot of people don't realise is there's been a lot of suicides. There has been a lot of eczema suicides because people cannot cope with the itch. They cannot cope with how they look. And I don't know why it isn't being talked about. People have developed mental health problems because of their skin condition. And that, that shouldn't happen. I think with a condition like eczema, there's a lot of pain that no one understands. There's a lot of discomfort. Um, there's a lot of consciousness. There's a lot of mentally having to be prepared. Because it's chronic, you kind of think, oh, it's never gonna go. It's just anticipating, oh my God, am I gonna flare? Oh my God, is that gonna set me off? So yeah, I think that can sort of create anxiety in your day to day. So that it can be a bit of a mental challenge as well. I had a green dress on that exposed, it was a boob tube, so it exposed my arms, my legs. I was standing there waiting for my friend and everyone, like this is not even a joke, everyone walked past and stared at me. It was just staring at my legs. I saw their eyes, it was more like, you know, even turning back. And I noticed every single person, I kind of got a bit like, where can I hide? <laughs> where can I run to? Like, people are staring at me, I don't want to be here. So I was at a friend's house and, um, you know, friends who know about my skin condition, friends who I feel comfortable around, and I was just wearing shorts. And another friend of theirs, who obviously I'm not as familiar with, came into the room and as soon as they saw my legs was like what the f is wrong with your legs and I just remember feeling so horrible because it wasn't my fault there was nothing I could do about it um it was okay for him to be ignorant or to not to understand but to react to such disgust it it just showed me that you know unfortunately not all human beings are very kind and I think Looking back, that is one of the reasons, one of the experiences that I've had which have made me feel like I want to unhide my eczema. I'm very lucky in the sense that I never had a negative experience ever. Um, they've all been positive. I think the best way to approach someone with a skin condition or eczema is to ask and just be, be kind in the way you ask. Your tone says a lot and People with skin conditions know that our skin looks bad, so pointing it out is it's not the best thing to do. Um, but listen, listen to what they have to say and try not to give too much unsolicited advice. Um, I'd like people not to react um, and not say anything really. When people say things that it throws me off, I just want it to be a normal thing, not she is the girl with a skin condition. There are over 15 million people living with eczema in the UK alone. So why not see that in advertising? We need to be more reflective of what's really out there in the world so everybody sees themselves in the media and everybody feels like, yes, I can relate and there is a place for me. I think that's the most important thing about representation, is inclusion. Representation leads to inclusion. The truth of it is that most of us are just hiding our imperfections all the time and that is why you never really see it out in public or in the media because it's just one of those things that no one talks about. If it was normalised people could just walk around freely and have their skin out. Before I had this I was probably one of those people who would be like oh my god it's, you know this is different like what is that and it didn't it only took for me to get it on my skin to be like oh my god wait this is common people do have skin conditions it's not out of the norm it does happen and I think that's having pack psoriasis has actually made me more aware. The things that inspire me is seeing brave people on social media, because I just think, wow, if they can do it, I can do it. When I started posting about my ex were online, a lot of people, especially women, messaging you and saying, I'm so proud of you for talking openly about it, because a lot of people feel like they can't. Um, and a lot of people think, you know that they can't wear nice clothing and you know I'm, I'm trying to prove them differently that you can. We should really try and embrace our differences and try and find um, cures and support 
within our communities because instead of just hiding away, we should just really talk about it. And it just makes people feel less alone. Feeling alone in eczema can almost feel personal. Like, why me? Why is this happening to me? How come I have to deal with this and other people around me don't? But I think when you realise that there is a community of people out there who you can relate to, it doesn't feel so hard and you don't feel such a victim. I'm definitely glad that I know of the community. Um, I'm happy that they've shared their stories as well. And I feel comfortable, a bit more comfortable if I do have a breakout, then, you know, I know I'm not alone. I feel, I feel happy and I feel, it's, can I use warm? I want to use warm, I feel warm. I can actually overcome quite a lot um, being people staring at me, confident, because I've always been a confident person until obviously I got plaque psoriasis over my body. So I think it necessarily taught me to accept myself, be a bit more happy with myself. You know, I am, I feel like I'm a beautiful person all around. So it's, it's taught me to be more openly confident about it. You just have to love yourself and you can't let anyone take it away from you. Um, everyone has got their own issues that they're battling, but there's room for all of us. So you just have to move with love. That's what I would say. And treat people with love and kindness and put that out and it will come back to you, essentially. The other thing I would say is focus on your mental well-being because the physical stuff will all sort itself out. But confidence is not an overnight thing. You just have to close your eyes and believe you're a bad bitch like Beyonce. Right, for me, being able to walk outside my house in a t-shirt is like such a big thing. Whereas to someone without a skin condition, that's just, it's just normal. <laughs> Having a community that I can speak to has helped me boost my confidence. Um, and it's taken me a long time to get to where I am, but it's been amazing. And it's really helped me appreciate the smallest things in life. My skin doesn't define me. There's more to me than my psoriasis. I'm just like you. I just, I'm like you. I just, I have psoriasis. You can't catch it. No, it's not a disease. I'm one of you. When it comes to eczema, it's something you can't control. So if you let it control you, you're just not going to enjoy life. I love my shade of brown. When my skin is healthy, I think I look amazing. We, we're just normal girls. We just happen to be a bit flaky. <laughs> <laughs>